Simulator here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and playing Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Famous Part 29. And we just got an invite from, I think this is Ally, Ali, our friend who's an actor. And he says, hello, Lakeisha, I'm throwing a charity benefit party and inviting well-reputed philanthropists such as yourself to attend. Will you come to the Papa Stone Park? So we are, of course, going to go ahead and go. We'll leave our... A partner at home with the kids, the kids doing their homework and whatnot. We're gonna go ahead and head on over to this party and see what it's all about. Okay guys, so here we have a little bit of a description here, some tips for a more successful event. We need a refrigerator, an oven, a microphone and a bar. Okay, there we go. I think that's all we needed for a successful event. So let's head on over here. It's actually quite cold over here in Brindleton Bay. So we are in our little outfit. Oh, and here is Brent. I guess everybody is just loving us. Uh, okay, so I think, oh, here is the comedian. I think I have voices up too loud. Oh, did you see him just like dosy do back there? Oh, okay, what's this? Lakeisha, that was excellent. You're a star, but Bubby, the agency is a buzz. We're certain your name will be on the shortlist for a Starlight Accolade this year. Oh my goodness, so we're going to get an award if we go to the ceremony on Sunday? <gasps> okay, so we're just going to hang out at this party. So this is the host here. I was completely wrong about who was the host. But we're going to go ahead and offer a donation. And I wonder if we can throw a party like this. Maybe that's what we'll have to do for the last part, maybe, or maybe like for our birthday. So we've gone ahead and offered our donation. And I guess that's sort of all we can do for this now. Oh, summer holiday. Oh, you're not summer holiday. Damn, she looks like a rip-off summer holiday. Um, but we're just gonna grab a drink, grab a bite to eat, and then head back home. What did we order? A bridge port. Mm, that looks pretty good. And I guess we'll go ahead and get some excellent mac and cheese. Of course, she couldn't eat anything less than excellent. So we got our food, we finished our drink, and we're going to go ahead and listen to the performance whilst eating our mac and cheese. Everyone here is like freezing to death, so I might go ahead and leave a little bit sooner because I don't want everyone here to die. Is he freezing to death? Oh my, everyone is starting to freeze to death. Okay. How many people are about to die? Is she dying right now? Who, uh, like, can everyone please go home? Ugh. This is like the worst charity event ever. Okay, can we not watch the death? I don't want to be sad about it for ages. She's... St <laughs> She's still over here watching the, like, comedian performance, even though the Grim Reaper is over here taking this guy away. Justin Delgado, like, look, I'm really sorry that this is happening to you, but, like, I'm just gonna stand over here and support the comedian. I'm here for the event, not here for your funeral. Oh my, is someone else dying? <gasps> she just died as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, after this, no, no, don't watch the death. Don't watch the death. After this, we're gonna go to the toilet. We're just gonna take care of, like, all of our needs, you know. <laughs> what an event. Okay. Oh my god, another person died! <laughs> no, 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 no. Go home, go home. We don't want to be involved in this. Oh no, she's seen it. She's like, what kind of charity am I supporting? Maybe I should redact my money. We're gonna go ahead and head home. She honestly doesn't seem that phased about it. Okay, guys, we are over here and we are about to go ahead and throw a birthday party for these three. It's about to start very soon, so I'm just going to get him to go ahead and make a cake. Let's make one blue confetti cake. Yes, let's start the party. So she had like $100 from her thingy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and just have her watch some TV because she's feeling kind of bored. Our uh, baby girl over here is asleep. A oh no, don't use your diaper. Don't, 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 don't. You don't need to use your diaper. Okay, <laughs> change into your party wear, whatever, girly. And yeah, everyone's just going to come out, have a good time. Everybody is feeling playful, feeling happy, feeling energized. Princeton, that cake is horrible. Oh my goodness. I thought he was a good cook. Okay, let's go ahead and add some candles to that. That's kind of hideous, sorry. Okay, well, I, I guess we'll just go ahead and get some food out for you guys because you're obviously feeling kind of hungry. We'll put out some grilled cheese. I mean, it is low-key, like, a kid's birthday party. So I feel like it's not that bad if we have food like this. What's wrong, my dude? Go ahead and ask Champ to go to the potty. It seems like he's kind of upset. But everybody's just hanging out, having a good time. Oh, cute. So some people are hanging outside, are they? 
No, I think that was just her coming inside. Okay, everybody's here. We did hire a mixologist, so I'm not sure where they are. Okay, they're on their way. And where'd that other cake go? Oh, our caterer is here. That's good. That's good. Okay, our other cake is here. Princeton, can you please put some candles on that, my man? You can go ahead and have the good cake, and your brother can have the bad cake. Everybody's going to go ahead and blow out their candles. How sweet. Princeton, can you just skadoodle out of the way, my man? Oh, dude, like, I know that we're about to celebrate a birthday, but could you please keep an eye on the tilapia? Jeebies. Okay, he's blowing out his dirty cake that his dad made him. Oh, dude, okay, focus on different topic. Literally, you're about to age up. Okay, here he goes. Woo! He aged on up. Noah aged up. So what should we make him? Maybe mm, maybe he wants to go ahead and move to the city. He is active and maybe a little bit of a snob. Okay, there he is. Is your sister coming to age up? Yes, she is. Like, how did you get all the way out here? Oh my goodness, okay. She is coming all the way back inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody come and watch. Kitty. Blow out your candles, girly. She did it on the first go. She is so talented. Okay. Hey, John, up. Oh, yes, queen. Okay, she is going to go ahead and... Hmm, I feel like neither of them would want to follow in their mother's footsteps. So maybe she'd more than likely just want to have a nice big family. She is a goofball who is also just very outgoing. So there they both are. What a lovely birthday party we've all had here today. Cuties. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and... Oh, Noah is a notable newcomer and a rising star. She's a rising star as well. Uh, okay. And Princeton it is your birthday as well. Let's go ahead and put some birthday candles on this cake here. Good thing because they already started eating the blue one. We'll go ahead and get Princeton to age up as well. Octavia is getting a little bit too close to our mans. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. But he is going to go ahead and age up into an adult. And then on Tuesday, I think, uh, Odessa. Oh, he's an elder? Wait, what? Snap. He aged up to an elder. Wait, and we're aging up to an adult, right? Oh my goodness. Are we a bit of a, like, a sugar baby? But anyway, we've just started to clean up already. Odessa is feeling a little bit upset. She needs to go down for a nap. Girlie, me too. Uh, and Chloe and Noah are about to go to drama club, I guess. Oh, yeah, just go to drama club. They're gonna leave. Lakeisha is like, I need a nap. Princeton is like, yeah, me too. Oh! Octavia, congratulations on your birthday. If we had have known, we would have made you a cake. Jeebies, girly. Okay, everyone's off to drama club. They're all doing great. Oh, wait, what's this? Noah has a drama club performance today. Other household member should attend and support him. How do we do that? Oh, attend drama show with Princeton. Wait, can she come as well? I don't know if our little girly can come, but we're going to go ahead and attend this with Princeton. Like, Princeton's going to come as well. Okay, bye guys. Have fun at our party that we threw. <laughs> Please take care of my daughter. These guys are about to go watch a drama club performance, I guess. Uh, we'll go ahead and hire a nanny. Uh, okay. If everyone could leave, that would be great. <laughs> See ya. I guess we've got a nanny coming. I mean, we could just ask our friends to stay while we were going there. <gasps> you guys! People are wearing our outfits. I was wondering, like, oh, did I give that outfit to her? Like, because I did make Dakota. Did I give that outfit to Dakota? But Judith is wearing it as well. And so... No, I think that's all. Oh, those two girls were wearing our outfit because that's what we were wearing. That's because of the trendsetter thing. Oh my goodness, people were wearing our outfit. Okay, everyone's back from drama club. Okay, cool. I guess everyone had a good time. That was a good performance, huh? Okay, so yeah, they're wearing the outfit that we have. That's like our first outfit. Oh my goodness, okay. Real quick, I just want to read this little mood that we got. So Princeton has this mood that says, Delightful performance from attending a drama club performance. These things can be a drag, but those kids turned out quite an inspired performance that's pretty cute drama club support from sims attending a drama club play having friends and family watch you perform just brings out the warm 
fuzzies. Okay guys, I've decided this is how Princeton is going to propose. So right now we have a whole bunch of tourists over here that were visiting our house during a tour. And Princeton is just going to go ahead, go on up to Lakeisha and embrace her. Just at the front of their house. Maybe they're about to go ahead and do like a lunch date or something. And like to celebrate maybe his birthday. And he is just going to go ahead and propose to her at the front of their house as a like publicity stunt, I guess. And she's just like, oh my goodness. Thank you. Because this is something she would totally love. She would be like, yes, and all the people over here are definitely, like, taking photos. Maybe this is, like, the first, uh, what do you call it, the first tour that they had done. So the company messaged them, and Princeton was like, let's organize for me to propose to you on this day. So, oh my goodness, look at Princeton's face. Oh, so, they're like, behind the gate, and everyone is just like, Oh my goodness, did we just watch her firsthand get engaged and they're all like shouting and cheering. Oh my goodness, and everyone's taking photos and taking selfies of themselves. You can go ahead and uh, do a money phone or something, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and post for pictures. Hopefully they'll come over here. Uh, the camera is recording us right now. So here he is over here making a call on his money phone. <laughs> I actually haven't done that yet, but that is really cool. And she is going ahead and posing for some pictures. Don't know if anyone's taking any of her. But now let's, can we go ahead and do anything else? Flaunt wealth. Let's go ahead and make it trickle. Uh, I guess we're going to do it inside. Oh, we're taking our daughter out first. So yeah, we got engaged. Yay. Hello, money Thank from God. using money phone. Princeton is just making the call on the old money phone. What? You don't have a money phone? Oh, poor you. Okay, so we're heading back outside to flaunt. <laughs> our wealth <laughs> we're like doing it through the fence and Lakeisha is like oh my god give it up the tourists left like you can stop now they're gone okay they get it after that he feels playful made it trickle from flaunting wealth Prince knows just making the simoleons fly but only a relatively small amount money doesn't grow on trees right Okay guys, we're over here at our gig for this part. We're gonna go ahead and get our costume on. Oh, she is in a fancy smancy cargo outfit. So let's go ahead and do this. So we need to go ahead and do a risky dance act, do a risky singing, and maybe two or three more things. Uh, here we've got this door. Okay, apparently she like wasn't ready to do that one yet or something because she just like very much gave up on that. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and do the singing. Oh my goodness. It almost looks like she doesn't have eyebrows at some points, but she does. Trust me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sing, sing, sing. Beautiful. I love that well object in the background. Now we're going to go back and try again the first thing we tried to do. I think this is the dancing maybe. Yes, queen, break it down. Yes, you've got this. What made you think you couldn't do this the first time? You're slaying this. Okay, there we go. She did it. Maybe she was just really nervous about that, that one. We're going to go ahead and play the guitar and then do some more dancing. And then we'll head on over to the lockup. Dude, like, this save file is so glitchy. Like, what is she doing right now? It doesn't like it when I line up, like, more than one thing at once. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and play the guitar. I don't even know what her guitar skill is at, so this might sound like absolute badness right now. But I'm pretty sure she has the trait where she never gets anything wrong or never does anything badly, so... She should be doing perfectly fine. Oh, she is so cute in this outfit. Okay, there we go, playing the guitar. whoopie doo da day. And then over here, we're gonna go ahead and do some more dancing. I can only assume this is the exact same interaction. Oh no, it's a little bit different. A little bit different. We're breaking it down in a little bit of a different style. But nonetheless, none of that suited what she is wearing or the set or like literally anything at all. This girl's been waiting here since we like first started because- oh she's like an elder. She grew old in the time it took us to do those first few stuff. Oh, what are you doing? How are you gonna lock her up from in- why are you inside the cell? Aren't you meant to be locking her up? Yeah, uh, what? Sweetie, they already started filming and you're not even on set properly yet. Okay. Oh, oh, she's not even in position. Gee, you girls did not practice this, did you? Slam her in. That's what you get for riding my horse. And by horse, I mean husband. Okay. <laughs> this girl's like, 
I don't know. Zabora? <laughs> but anyway, we finished that. We'll probably do like one more gig, let's be real, and then that'll be that. Let's go ahead and play with the green screen. Let's set it to... It's raining in the city. Oh, I broke it. Oh, okay, let's do this one. Looking for a strong, commanding lead to play the iconic Captain Sigma. When evil creeps in out into the light with nefarious intentions, it is up to Captain Sigma to save the day. The iconic photo blade Captain Sigma uses super strength and superior intelligence to handle all the challenges a supervillain can come up with. Charity benefit party challenge rewards gold level reward includes a charity trophy with a sizable boost in the reputation and fame of the sims in attendance charity benefit parties are high high fluctuant events ripe with hobnobbing which attract various socialites who wish to make positive public appearances of course it's all about raising simoleons for a good cause we have got some stuff in our uh, mailbox. What have we got? We've got some fan letters. Let's go ahead and open them on up. They say you have the kindest heart and deserving of all the love and happiness in the world. Please never doubt that. I love you so much. Yes, it's so great to see you finally getting the attention you deserve. Prime time. No, that was Lakeisha time. You're a star, Bubby. Everyone says so. Keep this up. You're on track for a Starlight Accolade nomination. So we're actually at the Starlight Accolades right now. So uh, I hope we get one today. Wear a celebrity disguise. Maybe we'll have to do that at our wedding. I was like, I don't know. Or maybe we'll do it right now, like as we're exiting the awards. Okay, guys. It looks like we're not going to win an award, which is actually like really disappointing. We're going to go ahead and put on our celebrity disguise. Maybe we're like really, really embarrassed that we didn't win any awards. Maybe our PR agency had said like, Lakeisha Love is expected to win three Starlight Accolade Awards and like she is so awesome and blah, blah, blah. And then it turns out we didn't win anything at all, which is really sad because this is probably our last Starlight Accolade ceremony. Okay, you guys, so on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. In next part, part 30, which will be the finale, we're going to go ahead and get married in Windenburg. We're going to go ahead and have the birthday party, age up good old Lakeisha and Odessa. And we're also going to go ahead and throw a charity banquet event party. And then to finish off, we're going to go ahead and do one final gig and just see how epic that is. But until next time, I hope you have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.